I just made this beautiful solar powered water fountain slash bird bath for birds. It even lights up at night giving a nice ambiance to my yard. Here is the step by step process. I used an old trash can lid as a basin for my bird bath. I picked up these solar pathway lights from a dollar store, removed the bottom part. These are going to get attached to the trash can lid. There are these four little raised notches that came in handy to attach my lights. But before that, I created holes using my soldering iron and put a screw into each one. These screws will act as an anchor in concrete. Using hot glue, I attach the solar lights to the lid. Once the lights were attached, I decided to use the pipe that I removed from them for the middle, so the water pump hose can go through it. You will see that shortly. Again, using my soldering iron, poke the hole in the lid. I would also need several drainage holes. I found this plastic covered wooden stick to plug the holes while pouring concrete. I also made one big hole in case those small holes get clogged. This is going to be the mold for the middle part of the fountain. I marked and cut it to the shape I wanted. Decided to make it a little taller than originally planned. Again using hot glue attached it to its cap and sealed it well so the concrete would not run off. Use the solar lights pipe for the middle. I'm trying something new today. I want to make the concrete lighter, so I crushed some styrofoam into my bucket. It was actually a work. It took me a while. I even used a grader. Here is my cement. My mixture was about half and half. Half styrofoam, half cement. But to be honest, I don't have a ways to measure if it really worked and if it's actually lighter. But I would like to assume so after going through all that trouble to crush styrofoam. Because of the curved shape of the lid, I had to support the edges so it wouldn't flatten under the weight of the concrete. For that, I created a well on the ground and placed my lid over it. Finally, poured my concrete. After 24 hours, the concrete was hardened. I had to tap these with my hammer a couple of times to loosen them up. Remove the plastic mold from the middle part of the fountain. And again, with a couple of taps, the pipe came to loose. This is the solar powered water pump. 
it has several nozzles water pipe little motor and the solar panel I'm using this bucket as a water tank again from a dollar store and conceal it in this concrete planter that I made last year after I filled up the bucket with water and placed my concrete basin over set up everything pump didn't work because of lack of direct sunlight in this location with these solar panels sun has to shine directly on them otherwise they don't work once I changed the location pump was working just fine seems like I made too many holes water is running down too quickly I will have to plug a few so water has a chance to sit for a while on the basin and the styrofoam idea may have to be improved not sure how yet as you can see some of them raised to the surface here is my solar panel there is one more step left that I still have to do is to seal the surface with a non-toxic sealer love how it becomes a light fixture at night don't you well, make sure to watch my other bird bath video right here.